Hey, what's up? What's happening? I'm gonna go ahead and get on with this. Uh, I've been taking apart hard drives for fun, my fun and amusement to see how it is. These are dead hard drives. Um, I see I'm almost forgetting something, so let me get on with this. Uh, I'm gonna try to get this up here. A Western Digital 160 gigabits. Really tiny. Um, Pata even, so this is even pretty fucking old too. And where's the, uh, the model? Is that the model? Date. This was made in March 2010. It's kind of surprising. They were making that crap back then. Wow, it's even in focus pretty damn good. Oh, it's a WD-1600. A A J B. Okay. I want to go ahead and get on with this now. Let's get on taking this fucking thing apart. So I like to take apart the hard drives because um, it's bad. It doesn't work. It's dead. Uh, this was determined a long time ago. Uh, however, my curiosity to take things apart, I would like to take them apart. As well as I also like to... Um, Remove the magnets. And if I'm going to toss this shit, I, uh, you can at least get something out of it. That you, because I, uh, I'll take out all the screws. I'm going to keep all the screws. Let me see. I think that's... No, I think there's a, at least one more screw under this label right here. There we go. I should have been using this one from the start. Let's see. In this sticker, I think there's one right there. At least one is under this, and I just hope that's it. Wow. Trying to hide it from me under two stickers. Let's see. There we go. This ends right up. Now let's see all what's back here. couple different screws let's see at least four after that comes up then this bottom piece stuff should come right out I think and I'm not sure it seems like these can be uh, resold if they still work as well so I might stock up these and just sell these all together not sure we'll see maybe so I know sometimes it could just be this that goes bad, and then you know people buy it to replace it, and if that fixes it, then that's awesome. What is that? Is that a sticker or not? I can't tell. I think it's a sticker, and it might have something, a screw under it. At least one. Okay. Come on. No stickers? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Alright, so any more screws? I'm not seeing any more screws. Is that a screw? No, I think that's covering another whole thing. Not over here, no. Nope. Okay. Well then in that case this should lift right up. As as, oh, yep. No more screws. That's what the what is that about? Uh, vent air hole thing. So what's what all goodies are in here? And these magnets are pretty fucking huge in these. 
This is actually the first time I've taken a part of 3.5. Usually it's all the 2.5s. But I've been procrastinating and I want to do this. I don't know if I'm going to upload this on uh, Halloween, though. Or if I'm going to wait till the next week. Because actually, Halloween is my one year um, that I've had this channel. So, uh... I'm not sure I want to upload it on the same day. I'm going to try to do this once a week, though, on my channel, for whatever reason. Yeah, I think I mentioned in the previous video I did of this. Nope, definitely too small. There we go, that's just right. In the previous video, I'm pretty sure I tried to get on the topic and talk about it, but then I got distracted and off topic and went on to something else entirely unrelated um, but what I did want to mention uh, I tried to get onto it you know no matter what you're doing no matter what profession whatever happens um, and if it, you know you lose your passion for your profession because I realized uh, Almost a year ago, as soon as I started working again, that um, I had really ended up losing my passion for my profession, and it's just really hard to get into. Um, and I, I, I lost my passion for it a lot longer, a significant amount of time before uh, I even realized it, came to the realization of it. However, also as of recently, because uh, a lot of things that do with the profession, you want to, it's always investigative and you always want to try to learn more. And, you know, it's, it's also based on curiosity and stuff like that. Uh, I got I to gotta get a bigger one for that one. How about these ones? Bigger too? Yeah. Too big? Yeah. How about this one? There we go. Okay. So. I think I'm running out of screws to, to remove. So, no matter what uh, happens, you lose your passion for your pa per per profession. Don't lose your per passion for uh, your curiosity. Like. Sure, I, I really don't care much for um, trying to repair things, taking them apart, putting them back together and whatnot. But, you know, I still enjoy just taking things apart. I'm not putting this back together, really, but... Um, or trying to fix this. It's long gone at this point. There really wasn't a fix to it. It was a dead drive. Well, it's, there we go. I just needed stuff to fall apart. So, no matter what you do, don't lose your passion for your curiosity or your investigative nature to discover things no matter what your profession may be. How do I get this out? It's a pretty nice magnet, too. It's nice and big and shit. I gotta get that out, though. Can I get that out without breaking anything? I don't think so. There we go. I broke something, I think. Anyway, I got what I came for. These nice fat ass magnets. Whoa. Let's see. Nice. And then I know I know it's like why are you taking these apart just for the magnets? I don't get it. Well, these are some nice magnets, and if you're gonna toss away a hard drive, you can at least uh, I mean you're you could always have a use for a magnet whether or not you immediately need it. So uh, you know, I might as well keep the magnet. It doesn't really make oh I cut myself. That's not good. So um. Is that how it went back together, kind of? Not really, but it's, it's broken. Definitely broken. 
Oh, that's what I sheared off. Okay. Just totally sheared that right off. So, no matter what you do, just don't lose your passion for your curiosity or investigative nature type of things. It's always helpful. Like, before I did my previous video of taking apart a hard drive, I actually ended up, uh, I had a old CD player that was in my car, a head unit, that I uh, took apart, just to take apart. I wasn't going to fix it. I don't know how the hell I would fix it. See, Wow, that's a nice, big, fat, thick disc. That doesn't sound perverted at all. Usually, those 2.5 drives are pretty fucking thin, too. So, putting this back together, kind of. Not really, but kind of. Let's see, and then it goes boom on like that. And all these things go in there, I guess. Not really, but. And can start putting this back together. And uh, I think. Well, good. I can go ahead and uh, put this on eBay or sell it as a cheap, crappy drive that doesn't work. Make a quick buck, like an asshole. Just kidding. Or am I? All right, bye.